and welcome back. This is part four of Catherine, the Golden Playhouse, and uh, let's talk to our buddies. Seriously, okay, man. They say men who cheat get cursed. Curse? That's so stupid. I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? Uh, there we go. Yes, we are moving right into that karma meter. <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. Bad or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. Um, whenever they have the pink behind the talk icon, they have something new to say. So you can keep that in mind if you want to keep on talking to like them. I just want to know for reference. <laughs> it wasn't anything special. I was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that. Stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> Seriously. That thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently, it's really. I do think it's kind of interesting that they, ha they have to highlight that I mean, in the conversation. Like Paul died? Yeah. Or it is. This is getting called the woman's rap. Because really, is, I mean, it highlights it to the player, but it really doesn't serve Sounds any like other purpose. Like to have. Hey, and considering that's the only times, thing the right? theme this game yeah. revolves around, I don't really see the need for it. But you know, I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault, man. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, we'll leave these guys. I'll come back. You can drink. Uh, you can actually stay in the bar indefinitely, um, but the other people in the bar won't stay. So, but this is the stray sheep, and possibly my favorite thing to do here is not the arcade, but the jukebox. Use the jukebox to change the background music in the bar. Acquiring trophies will earn you more songs. Try doing lots of challenging things to earn them. Okay, omnipotent. Voice guy. So, because you have a uh, which we call it multiple save files in New Game Plus whenever you start a game, you get you keep your songs unlocked. And the best thing is they have soundtracks from a bunch of Atlas games like Persona Three and Four. Here we go. What do I want to start with? It's not a smile time. Um, Pal Polonia Mall, my, one of my favorite songs from Persona Four Three. Oh no, this isn't the right one. It's not the remix, or that's stupid. Um, let's go with. All right, screw. It. Let's just go. With this. <sighs> that's a great song. <laughs> the smile I have on my face is, it's it's pretty big. Um, see, so yeah, let's actually check out the arcade game. I don't think this takes any time either. Go to the arcade machine to play a video game. The rules are the same as the nightmare stages. However, there is no time limit. But if you use up all your moves, if you can't. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna listen to you. Um, so you play the game. It's Rapunzel. It's like you can practice for the night stages, um, which is kind of cool. I like that they had this little mini game incorporated, and uh, the same rules apply. Uh, stay oh, it keeps your stages unlocked. We'll just no, not stage seven. Not stage seven. These are kind of tough. I don't even know what the purple blocks do. What do they do? Are they cracked? I think they're cracked. But as you can see, you have a power meter in your uh, bottom. Well, that's silly. In your bottom left hand corner. Well, dang. Yeah, I didn't plan on doing that. So, anyway, that's what the game looks like. But maybe I'll try to figure out how to do that before the series is over. Is this the end of the line? I never actually read or saw Rapunzel for that movie. Um, yeah, I've never, like, I've never seen the Disney. What was it called? Whatever that movie was called, Tangled, I guess. You never saw that. I probably mentioned it in my Kingdom Hearts LP, but. I am a fan of Beauty and the Beast, and that's that is that's the most important one. Will you talk to other customers? They may talk to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. We no got new you. Leads today. 
Um, nothing new? Okay, I guess I can't talk to you early. Uh, we're gonna skip that. If you look closely on the bar, you'll see Teddy from Persona 4. And I believe there's a GeckoCon High School poster somewhere in the background. Um, from Persona so, 3. You're cheating? That's big news. Don't you care about Catherine? Um, of course, but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but jeez. Men who cheat are cursed. If that rumor yep, is real, I got that. what are you going to do? Text. Thank Nothing, you. Nothing, because it's not real. <laughs> it's actually kind of interesting, because from what I can tell, the, uh... His problems are kind of You've got to become separate. Man. The men who cheat are cursed versus the nightmares. I don't think they're actually. I'm not desperate to climb like, the just kind ladder. of happy coincidences. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy, always climbing. Can I talk to boss. Oh, I can sit here. This customer is a journalist. He seems to be obsessing over a certain legend lately. A legend. I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Hmm. Have I met you somewhere before? I don't know. I wonder. I see. Excuse me. Where were we? Oh, yeah, the legend. Anyway, in my research, I found records indicating that similar cases occurred in hundred year cycles. Many men died last time as well. It's the truth. Well. Wow. Every hundred years, huh? I found a strange variation on this legend going around, too. Hmm? There's a man who survives it. Survives the dreams? Very, very rarely. There's a man who is cursed but doesn't die. Isn't that interesting? It's said that the survivor is granted one wish. If he wished for eternal youth, he might still be around. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Well, if this is what you're coming up with, you have a wish in mind for yourself? Mm, to live forever? But too typical? Me? I'd wish for something different. Like what? I may wish to change the past. Like someone kill me. You wish for that? And let me introduce you. And this is Todd, and this is Archie. Are you on your way home from the office? Or not? You're not wearing a suit. A suit? Oh, I don't have that kind of job. I don't think we ever That's figure out what job Vincent has, actually. Then. What do you mean? We make business suits. Haven't you ever heard of Bantam suits? No. Nope. Jingle. You'll be the cock of the walk in a Bantam. Oh, you're from Catherine's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? Maybe. Think of it, but I, I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't it? That's enough cockadoodlery out of you. <laughs> oh, uh. Wow. You guys and your puns. Ooh, text Boy, messages. You want some? Let's uh check that. Is that oh, Midnight Venus? More, more awards. Not necessary. Let's actually talk to you again. Uh, let's talk to you again. Played that Rapunzel game over there. Some yes. stages are supposed to be impossible, but there's a cinch if you've got technique. I think I'm pretty good at coming up with. More text messages. Catherine? Yes, I am a straight sheep again. Are you out drinking again? I came by your apartment today, but you weren't there. I want to talk to you about something, but I'll do it tomorrow. Don't insult my place. No, I'm not saying sorry to you. Um, uh, there we go. Talk to tomorrow? No, we won't. Uh, yeah, we will. There we go. Well, uh, good night. See ya. There we go. Nice and distant. It's really, I really appreciate the fact that just about everything you do has the opportunity to, uh, news in our ongoing coverage of the to influence the karma meter. The following people were proclaimed dead today. Those mysterious weakening deaths. I can't believe that Paul's dead. That is all the information we have up to this point. We'll revisit our top story after the local weather, in the event that there are any updates to the situation. This lady is going to get paid a lot because I think she's the only newscaster you see this entire, it's nothing entire but game. Stories about those deaths. They said that there are several people who have died in the same fashion. Erica says that people believe it's a curse given when a woman is scorned. Y'all didn't highlight it that time? 
But you highlighted every other time. About curses. All right. It just ignore Erica. A woman's guess is much more accurate than a man's certainty. <laughs> to pinch a praise from a certain someone. You don't think it applies to Erica? Then there's nothing to worry about. Erica's guesses are never on target. And by the way, you look a bit glum. Hey boss, you uh, you ever cheated on someone? My my my. It is not like that. It was an unintentional event. Unintentional? Are you sure about that? Um, no, we're not gonna actually remember. To tell you the truth, I can't really remember. Did you have too much to drink? Oh my. Besides, I heard you were wearing those shades to hide from an ex-girlfriend. To a man, it may be a one-night stand, but to a woman, it is the beginning of a lifetime. And to borrow a line from a certain someone. Anyway, it is a strange rumor. Both of us should be careful. More mail. Let's see who this is. Um, Catherine. Other Catherine. Hey, Vincent. If you get this, let me know. Okay, yeah. No. What do you want? Nah. <laughs> there we go. I love some of his, some of his responses are just great. Um, I think the song actually reset after something. I don't know what that means. More mail. You got mail. Passage of time. Here we go. See, so as you sit down, talk to the bar, you, whatever. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. So, yeah, playing the arcade machine doesn't make time pass. So, just talking to people is what you uh, is what you want to plan out accordingly. Can we actually take a sip of our drink? Can we do that? We can't do that. Okay, we'll talk to Todd like Marshy like again. Like by a maid every That's misogynistic. You All right. Like uh, let's go back and see our buddies. We want to talk to the old ladies, but I really don't either because they're kind of just boring. I gotta go take a leak. I just sat down. Come on now. Hey, uh, He's gone. Let's talk about him. Huh? You didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. He lost a lot of money in some scam. Pyramid scheme? Left him. He pretends not to mind, but I think it still gets to him sometimes. Even when his wife calls him, he... Huh? What do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. I do think it's kind of cool, like real friends, when someone leaves, they're going to talk about you. You know, say oh, things that you might not want to hear. Time? I should be heading home. Are you leaving now? Time will slowly pass each time you sit and talk to people. Yeah, I'm sure there's actually a uh, certain amount of events you can. No, they left. Old ladies left. Um, oh well. Yeah, there's probably a certain amount of events you can do before people leave. Um, but uh, I really don't want to figure out how many that exactly is because I think that'll kind of ruin the realism for the game for me. Um, but actually, we're gonna try to look at that here and. Shit! I can't look at yep. this in public. I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. It's kind of cool. He'll get pictures from Catherine, other Catherine. Wow. And uh, is it that late already? You can only look at them in a certain location. I guess we're done today. That's it. All right. Let's see. Who else is uh, anybody else come in yet? No one else came in. I don't think anybody sits at this table over here. But we'll go to the bathroom. Let's see what that's all about. I think there's more Persona 4 references in here. Um, wash your face. <laughs> and you get a little bit of preview for the next night. <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> Tonight you'll visit the torture chamber. Don't forget your boxers. <laughs> huh? Alright. And... Here we go. You can check your phone, and this is where you can check your pictures from other Catherine. So you can kinda Shit. do that. And I think Teddy's on the wall behind us, right? Somewhere, no? I was almost positive Teddy was somewhere in this bathroom. Mm, that's interesting. Maybe he's in there later. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, that's the exit, okay. Um, but yeah, the other thing we have to keep in mind is to make sure to drink all of the alcohol before the night's over. Let's talk to Erica first. Catherine started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone.
home. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to minds like yours. Is that the way it is? Men who cheat are cursed. Nothing because I got that. All right, you're done. Okay, so now uh, we can sit, sit the bar. You want to drink uh, till your meter fills three. I think every three sips of a drink you take, or every time you finish a drink. Can I drink it yet? Do I even? Oh, square. There you go. When you drink, yep, I'll you can raise your intoxication, and the more intoxicated you are, the faster you will run. Which I'm gonna, that's why I'm gonna blame on why I died the first boss because I was not going as fast as possible. But I do like that added sense of chain challenge. Like, I've never played the game where you only have one on your beer meter. As you seem to have finished your glass, the name Rum and Cola is actually a nickname. Do you know the real name of this drink? No, I don't. It's called the Cuba Libre. The rum called for in this drink represents Cuba. This is a cocktail which mixed the national specialties of Cuba and the United States as a celebration of Cuba's independence. Cuba Libre means free Cuba. It tastes differently when you know the history. It tastes the like freedom. <laughs> Tea already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. I do think it's kind of cool. Still thirsty there? They probably, I'd love to see their tab for this. We're going to go with whiskey. Whiskey. Um, Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Gotcha. That's the other thing. I want to say Toby is probably 20. Um, I, don't, I don't know when the drinking age is in Japan, but he seems like, I, I want to say, say he's 20 at some point. Maybe he's 21, but. Yeah, not that cursed? No, even better. There's a witch in town. Can you believe it? No, there isn't. Get back to work. And drink. <sighs> Cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. I mean, with your fingers crossed, maybe that'll work. Oof. Did it really make Catherine happy? Oof. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass. Do you know what malt means? It can often be seen on alcohol labels. Malt refers to malted barley, a key ingredient. Yet, if it is labeled as malt whiskey, it must also be scotch. Single malt means that the malts used come from the same distillery. Malt whiskey can vary wildly in taste, depending on how it's made. So, there are many different brands. And that was the trivia for tonight. Well, thank you, omnipotent voice. You already? And at this point, it really doesn't matter Still what you one. get. Um, I'm gonna stop for the moment. No, I'm cool. But I believe that is everything we can do in the bar. Let me check with the uh, other fella. I'm thinking that's the way these parts will go. I will. What was that? Okay, I'm just sitting. I will probably do one night in the bar and one night in the, uh, or one to two nights in the actual dungeons. Anything? I will just talk to boss. Yeah, I wonder if the woman's wrath. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. <laughs> but tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? A little bit. I don't know, but in Erica's case... It's a bit different. Anyway, let's both avoid ending up cursed and dead. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Deuces. Keep talking. He has lots to say. Quite a few customers come in to see Erica. It's great for me. Uh, it's late. Anyway, I can't hurt her anymore. Hey. Hey, Vincent. We're all heading home. How about you? Uh, well... How long are you going to be drinking this? As long as I want, cryptic voice. Hurry up and did, did I just hear... Alright, hey, um... Come here. No! No cutscene. 
definitely a cutscene. Oh, maybe not. Well, anyway, since we are at the end of our night, we're going to save here. And the next time when we come back, we'll talk to Catherine. And we... That's not the save menu. Hold up. Do we have a... Audio? We don't have an audio choice. That's silly. Anyway, yeah, we'll come back. We'll talk to Catherine and do the next nightmare. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.